determination of lattice parameter from X-ray diffraction. Determine the lattice parameter of nickel, which is face-centered cubic, if the Bragg's angle for its 2 to 0 plane reflection is 38.2 degrees and the wavelength of the X-ray used is 1.54 angstroms. Now, uh, in order to uh, apply Bragg's law here, I want to recall the interplanar spacing in a cubic crystal. For a cubic crystal, uh, we know that the interplanar spacing So this will be the spacing between HKL planes, DHKL. This is uh, given by D sub HKL is equal to A divided by H square plus K square plus L square square root. This we have shown in the lecture and also as a problem we have uh, proven this result. So with that for the given problem I have the lattice spacing uh, uh, A, lattice parameter A is A divided by square root 2 square plus 2 square plus 0 square because h uh, 2 to 0 implies h equals 2, k equals 2, l equals 0. So this gives me a divided by uh, 2 square root 2. It would be square root of 8, 4 plus 4 square root of 8, which is 2 square root 2. Now, if I recall the Bragg condition, Bragg's law tells me uh, interference, constructive interference will occur when I have the path difference to the HKL sine theta for reflections from the HKL planes is equal to lambda. This is the first order uh, Bragg reflection. Uh, in the previous problem, we have uh, looked at this and we have shown it uh, once again, if you remember, the path difference has to be 2D sine theta. Okay, so um, for DHKL, I'm going to substitute A divided by 2 square root 2. So this will be 2A divided by 2 square root 2. And I have sine of the angle 38 point. 2 degrees and this must be equal to one wavelength 1.54 angstroms and that gives me for the lattice parameter A 1.54 square root 2 divided by sine of the angle 38.2 degrees and if you have noticed here, we have a cancellation of twos. So this is what A should be. And that gives me uh, 3.52 angstroms or uh, the lattice parameter. Now, let's put this in a box. Now I want to understand exactly what is going on here by uh, looking at the face-centered cubic structure. So here you can see the face-centered cubic structure. This is for nickel now. A is my lattice parameter. 2 to 0 uh, plane will intersect uh, x and y axes at half a lattice constant and they will be parallel and the plane will be parallel to the z axis uh, it will have an intersection at infinity and 110 plane 
is the plane that's parallel to it that intersects the xy uh, axis at one lattice constant and running parallel to the uh, z axis. So you can see that what I'm trying to find here is the distance between this 220 and 110 plane because those are the uh, nearest uh, to 220 planes. Okay, <clears throat> so if you look at the, the blue line is basically the uh, projection of this plane onto the xy plane uh, and the red line is the projection onto the xy plane of 110. And you can see here, if I look at the basal plane, if I look at these projections, the distance between these two planes is D, then I have, uh, because this is, uh, the, the phase diagonal is going to be equal to 4D, uh, I will have 4D equal to, uh, from the right triangle here, A squared plus A squared is the hypotenuse square, so I will have a 4d must be equal to a square root 2, and the distance between these planes should be a square root 2 over 4, which is a divided by 2 square root 2. So this is exactly the result I have found using this formula, a divided by square root h square plus k square plus l square. So the uh, interplanar spacing uh, between two uh, adjacent to two zero planes is D. So uh, in this plot here, the uh, two two zero plane and one one zero plane are uh, the nearest uh, planes that are parallel. And you can see that the interplanar spacing is one fourth of the face diagonal uh, of this cube.